Hey, Stock Up fam, 26,000 subscribers. I saw you guys five days ago and we were celebrating 24,000 subscribers. I got the, I got the thousand subscribers shirt on. You guys are blowing it up. Thank you. We'll see you after the intro. Again, once again, for those of you that are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button right now. Hit the like button right behind it. Subscribe, bam, like, bam. See those buttons down there that give me the finger on that finger and then hit that subscribe button and then hit that notification bell because we here at this community, we are on fire with this knowledge. We are navigating our way through this crazy volatile market and this crazy election season. And we're going to come out wiser and richer on the other end. Right, Stock Up fam? <laughs> okay, so I um, want to talk about two companies, Neo and Workhorse. Yes, I know a lot of you have been saying, what about Neo? What about Neo? What about Workhorse? What about Workhorse? Okay, um, I, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. All right. So I want to talk about these two companies and I'm going to discuss which one I would buy or which one should you buy? But, you know, I got to put this disclaimer in there before you uh, make any financial moves or make any financial decisions. You should do your own research and consult with your financial advisor, to which I am not. I'm just showing you guys how I make money. Right. All right. So. Um, I am going to go through some pros and cons. I'm going to keep this one real short because those of you that have not subscribed, you're going to miss my next video. In my next video, I'm going to give you four more high growth stock, four more long-term high growth stock that is primed right now for you to get in right now. My last one, you guys blew it up 21,000 views. Man, my hat's off to you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. All of you guys. So let's get right into it. All right. I'm just going to breeze through some positives between the two companies. And at the end, I'm going to tell you which one um, I would buy if I were you. OK, I'm telling you which ones I would buy. All right. So these companies, they have a lot of positives, both of them. And I'm really kind of hitting the positives and seeing which one is the best one to get into. Let's start with uh, Neo. So I'm going to bounce back and forth from Neo to Workhorse, right? So Neo, the one thing I like about Neo, and a lot of you guys are going to dislike it, is it is bagged by the Chinese government. Now, big red flag for those of you uh, investors. We know that Chinese stock uh, under President Trump are risky because they, the Chinese really don't abide by our rules as far as the stock market is concerned. And therefore they risk being delist, delisted. So I'm going to tell you guys right now that are new to this channel. I jack words up. I mean, I jack them up. So just get ready. <laughs> but I keep it real and we make money. We're deep thinkers here, right? So um, I want to tell you by 2025, so 2025, the country, China, wants 25% of all of their cars to be EVs. 25% by 2025. That is humongous. So two things that's going for Neo right now is bagged by the Chinese government, which means they are not going to let this company fall. They're not going to put billions of dollars into a company and watch it fall. Right. Then 
They want 25% of their vehicles to be electric by 2025. We're going into 2021. So that's four years from now, right? Not long, not in the stock market. It's not long. So now let's bounce over to workhorse and let's look at some of the positives of workhorse. So we know that workhorse did not get the USPS contract. We used to say in USP, UPS, uh, USPS, right? We used to say in UPS. All right. So we know that they didn't get the contract, but we also know that it's only a matter of time. It could be the end of the year. It could be next month. It could be next year. It could be the end of next year. How much of the contract will they get? No one really knows, but we do know for someone to get that contract, even if they get a fourth of that contract is huge. It is humongous. It is life changing for any size company, right? Especially if they get half of that contract. That is humongous amount of cash and orders. The stock is going to run like a workhorse. So we got workhorse, I know pun intended, which is looking good. Neil's looking good. Let's dig deeper, right? So on workhorse, they got a partnership with Lord Lordstown's motors, which means manufacturing. They'll, they'll, they'll have it. They they'll be able to handle the manufacturing if they do get this contract. That's not a big deal. And then there's been hundreds of millions of dollars pumped into and they're ramping up their production capabilities. Both of these companies are right. So let's bounce back to Neo. What does Neo got to say about that? So Neo, they are already backlogged on pre-orders, meaning there's more people that want the vehicle then is available, right? So that presents a good problem. That means that you got cash coming in and you got to fill these orders, right? A good problem to have, not a good problem, but a good problem to have. If you had a product and nobody wanted it, that would be a bad problem. And so the fact that Neo is, um, um, have more orders than they have merchandise or vehicles is a good thing. So they are building out their infrastructure and they're trying to keep up with demand. So what workhorse, uh, workhorse, let's I'm bouncing back and forth. Remember workhorse will be profitable in 2022, right? So we're, we're just about in the 2021 and, and a year later workhorse will be profitable. Neo will be profitable the year after in 2023. So workhorse will actually be profitable sooner than Neo, especially if they get the contract in that, that infusion of so much liquidity, so much cash, then workhorse is just looking like a winner. So they're both in the match and in, in, in the boxing ring and they're fighting each other. So I'm going to tell you what I would do and what I'm going to do. And it's not what most guys are telling you on YouTube, right? They are always saying it's a great stock. Bye, 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 bye. Right. I'm going to tell you out of these two, though workhorse will be profitable in 2022 and Neo will be profitable in 2023. One of the things that Tesla has taught us is that people will pay a premium for the future. Now we know if you look at the price of that stock and I always say I bought some at seven and sold it a, a few months later at, at 1680 something, 1683, where in the world can you make that kind of money? But the company was overvalued. And people like Jim Cramer, SPAC hater, um, just poo pooed on this. As a matter of fact, I'm going to play you this clip and I want you to listen to what he said about Tesla when it IPO'd. He's talking about one of the most hyped IPOs in recent memory, the soon to be red hot Tesla Motors, which will trade under the symbol TSLA when it comes public next week. 
I think Tesla will be a fabulous IPO. But I want to make sure all you home gamers understand the difference between a red-hot IPO and a red-hot stock so that you can benefit from the initial fire without being scorched by the flames after this baby comes public. See, Tesla's an electric vehicle maker, and I think this space is all sizzle without any stage. Sell, 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 sell. This deal is a great way to make a quick buck or two, which is why I advocate trying to get in it. But long term, Tesla is cell block material, and you're going to hear it on some Thursday coming up. That's why I'm doing a very special cell block today. You get shares in the IPO, you want to sell them after the initial pop. Do not hold them for longer than that. I want you out the first day. Boy, was he wrong. Man, if you would have gotten in and invested right after the IPO at the price that it IPO'd and still had it now, you'd be pretty good. If you thought there were thousand dollars after that, five thousand, ten thousand, you'd be rich. Yep. And so that's that's one of the ways that so you'll know that these institutional players like Jim, I like Jim, you know, I've been listening to him since 2006. You know, I like Jim, but he's all about the institutions. OK, that's that's what I say. You know, it doesn't make it true, but that's what I say. That's what I think. Anyway, Jim Cramer, SPAC hater, EV hater. But anyway, let's get back to the business, back to the matter at hand. Some of you old schools, y'all know where that come from. But anyway, so we're back to Neo now. I'm going to tell you between the two, which one I would invest in. Drum roll, please. Both. And here's why. But now, here's the caveat. I would invest two thirds into Neo and one third into Workhorse. Here's why. And you're going, and it makes, in, in, that doesn't make any sense because Workhorse is going to be profitable in 2022. Yes, but I've learned to follow trends. I buy books on trends. What are the new trends? If you know right now what the new trends are coming up, you can make a lot of money being ahead of the trends. And so if you know what the new trends are coming, before they hit, you can make a lot of money, people. I'm telling you, I have. What's the trend that's coming? We know that EVs will soon take over. We know that in 13 years, 13 to 15 years, you're going to be hard pressed to even buy a brand new gas engine. EVs are here to stay and they're taking over. So here's why NEO is number one for me. 25% of China cars by 20, what, would, what did I say? By 2025, 25% must be electric vehicles. One of the things that no one's really looking at is this. Our country is big, the United States. But in 2020, we have roughly 330 million people on this continent in the United States. I shouldn't say this continents, but in the United States, cause we got different continents, you know? Um, so, but you know, I, I don't know if is Hawaii a continent or is it an Island? But anyway, 330 million people. That's a lot. China has 1.4 billion people, four times as many people as us. And they're saying by 2025, 25% of their cars have to be electric. That's why I'm betting on Neo because the upside is five to seven times. Some people say 10 times. I say five to seven times. So you could five to seven times your money over the next five years with Neo. So here's why I'm a little, you know, um, I'm pulled back a little bit on workhorse. It's all based on, they're going to make money anyway, but it's really based on one contract. USPS, if they don't get that contract, it's going to go up. Yeah, they're going to continue to manufacture vehicles and all of that, but it's going to take a while. Neo was already pumping them out. 
and the potential growth on a country that has 1.4 billion people on it already, and they are forced into 25% EVs, I'm putting two thirds of my money on NEO and only a third on Workhorse. And so it's all about diversification, people. This is not like you have to pick Ford and put all your money in Ford. Just, just think about if you were in American car companies at the beginning and you could have bought Ford when it first IPO'd and you could have bought GM when it first IPO'd, you know, you would be, be rich in all of them. And so it's no harm in investing in first best and second best, right? And so here we're all about knowledge and looking at the trends, right? Look at the trends, right? So Neo and Workhorse are two good stocks, but I'm going to say in this battle that Neo is the winner and that's where I would put the bulk of my money. But, but people, people, hold it, hold it, hold it. Do not buy this stock right now. I'm going to say something no one else is really saying. Wait until after this dog and pony show, which is also called <sighs> the presidential election is over. And, and that's when I would look into, remember timing, look at the trends and look at timing. The market is going to be volatile. It's going to be a rodeo. I ride horses, man. And sometimes when that horse is, is trotting, you just like, whoa, baby. And you bouncing all over the place. That's what the stock market is going to do from now, not until after the election, but until we find out who the clear winner is then the market has to adjust. So I'm going to tell you that it's going to be more volatile days. And I would wait on both of these companies to get in. And then even when the election is over and we find out who the winner is, I still would only go part of the way in. So what if you don't hit the absolute bottom? Nobody knows where the absolute bottom is. Limit your risk, people. Limit your risk and make money. And so that's what I'm going to tell you about Neo and Workhorse. Now, hey, y'all, that was good enough for y'all to hit that like button. Go ahead, hit that like button. And for those of you that are new, come on now. That was good enough for you. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. We here at Stock Up with your boy, Uncle Larry, we learn from each other. I like reading all of you guys' comments. I really do. Some of you guys are familiar. I'm, I'm, I'm like knowing your names all the time. I'm looking for your comments for, from all over the world right now. And one of the things about us here, we're not political. We're not hating on one another. We love one another. I got young Asian women, uh, young white women. I know that sounds weird. My wife is white, by the way, so y'all quit tripping. All right, so... But we got African-American, uh, female, white, black. It doesn't matter. We all about love here with Stock Up with Larry Jones. And we just going to keep it that way because we are going to make money. We are the underdogs and it is our time to get a piece of the American pie. I don't know why I'm, I'm saying this at the end of this video, but you need to hear this, especially for you that were the underdogs, you know, like me. I, I wasn't looking so hot in high school, y'all. I was I was really struggling. I, if I have a picture, I show it. No, I'm not going to do that. And I wasn't the underdog. And I'm talking to you. You weren't the un you you were the underdog. You know the the guys that had the sporty cars and you couldn't afford it. It's your time to shine. I'm look. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, man. I'm talking to you, woman. I'm talking to you, boy. I'm talking to you, girl. This is your Uncle Larry coming. I'm talking, it's your time to shine. And now is the time to be grabbing stock at a discount. So I'm going to repeat, do not buy these right now. Wait until the dog and pony show is over and let's scoop in like an eagle and grab our prey, right? This is Uncle Larry 
and I'm bidding you a goodbye, but you gonna wanna watch the next video. Live, love, laugh, and learn. See you guys later.